Hello everyone, welcome back. And our lesson today is rates and unit rates. So for our mini lesson one, finding unit rates. So example, a nutrition label shows that every one fourth cup of tuna has one half grams of fat. How many grams of fat are there for every cup of tuna? Take note that the quantities compared here are the grams of fat and a cup of tuna. So write the ratio, grams of fat to cup of tuna. And in the problem, there is one half grams of fat. So write down one half and then one fourth cup of tuna. So cup of tuna here is one fourth. So we all know that fraction bar means division. So you can rewrite that as one half divided by one fourth. Then do the LCR, live, change, reciprocal. So this will turn into one half times the reciprocal of one fourth is four over one. And then we can cancel out four and two which is 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. Which means there are 2 grams of fat to every cup or 1 cup of tuna. Letter B, how many cups of tuna are there for every gram of fat? So we can write the ratio, cups of tuna to gram of fat. And going back to the problem, we know that there, there is one fourth cup of tuna, so write down one fourth, to every one half grams of fat. So we can rewrite this. 1 fourth divided by 1 half LCR leave the first fraction change that to multiplication and reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1 so we can cancel this out this is 2 this one is 1 1 times 1 is 1 2 times 1 is 2 which means there is 1 half cup of tuna for every gram or one gram of fat. Next part of the lesson, using a unit rate to solve a rate problem. So example number two, a scientist estimates that a jet of liquid iron in the Earth's core travels nine feet for every half an hour. How far does the liquid iron travel in a day? First, write the ratio. So the first one is nine feet. So write down feet. And then the other one is one hour, two hour. So the quantities compared here are the feet and hour. So we all know that there are nine feet. So write down nine and then half an hour. Then we answer the question, how far does the liquid iron travel in a day so we do not know how far so that is question mark per day so that is one day we already set up the ratio so we will write this as nine divided by one half turn nine into a fraction so that's nine over one leave change reciprocal that is nine over one times two over one which is 18 over 1 or equal to 18. So this means that the liquid iron travels 18 feet per hour or for every one hour. But the question is, how far does the liquid iron travel in a day? We only solve for the distance that the liquid iron travel in one hour. 
So what we're gonna do is set up a table of equivalent ratios. Going back to the problem, it says for every one half hour, it travels nine feet. And we already solved that for every one hour, the liquid uh, iron travels 18 feet. I write down 18 in here, and then write down one hour here. So how did we do this? To get 18, you have to multiply nine by two. And then do the same thing on the bottom side, multiply one half by two to get one. Now take note of this. This is one hour only. So the liquid iron travels 18 feet for one hour. The question is, how far does the liquid iron travel in a day? And we all know that in one day, there are 24 hours. So that means multiply this by 24, which is equivalent to one day. So one day is 24 hours. One times 24 is 24. So whatever you do here, do the same thing on the top. So this is times 24. And 18 times 24 is 432, which means the liquid iron travels 432 feet in one day, which is 24 hours.